Good morning, everyone. It's Kathleen Greer with the Ride Here Delaware team, and I just wanted to say welcome. I will not be keeping my uh, camera on the whole time, but I just wanted to say uh, welcome in person and uh, glad you could join us today. Again, I, like I said, I'm just so glad you could join us for the Delaware Commute Solutions uh, Series 7, discussing safe commuting while moving forward with DART. Uh, we want to be sure to provide the most information we can in our brief time together. So if you do have any questions or comments, please post them in the chat box over to the right, and we'll be sure to address them at the end of our presentation. And um, so for today, you know, as we prepare ourselves and to return to our prior COVID-19 uh, workplace and we begin to think about our mode of travel um, options. We're happy to have Julie Farrell, Customer Experience Officer with DART here with us today to talk about how DART is continuously working to provide the best transit experience for you. Julie has over 27 years experience in the transit industry, starting in the area of marketing and today as Chief Experience excuse me, Chief Customer Experience Officer. Julie oversees marketing and public affairs, customer service, scheduling and planning. Um, Julie can occasionally be seen riding DART's uh, Route 45 when she's commuting from Middletown, and she is currently participating in Dell Dot's Clean Commute Challenge. So I wanna say good morning to Julie and welcome to series number seven. Great, hi, thanks for having me and happy Friday everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk about how DART has continued to operate through this pandemic, connect, connecting people to their destinations safely. You know, public transit truly is a, a lifeline for many who have no other means of transportation. Next, please. So what I'd like to do today is just to go through DART's service that we've um, been operating since the beginning of the governor's um, stay at home order. And then I'll also touch on our ongoing efforts. So March 18th, we started to run a reduced service level. So mainly we were running a Saturday level service, um, providing service on the major corridors, really to ensure that essential trips for riders were available to get to work, grocery stores, pharmacies, and, and other critical destinations. Uh, face coverings were required on all buses, as they still are today, and we were limiting the bus capacity to about 40%, um, and that was really to ensure social distancing. We did have um, notices posted on some of the seats so that it was clear where people could sit, and um, buses were thoroughly cleaned and sanitized each night. During this time, we also were offering students free bus rides to access school meal programs uh, during specific hours. And then on April 2nd, we waived all fares for all riders and instituted rear door boarding. Then on May 17th, we implemented our statewide service change. And while we were still operating reduced levels, we did increase that level of service. So we were up to probably close to 80% of our regular service. And we also opened the Wilmington Transit Center so for those who, who haven't seen it, it's located on Front and Walnut Streets in downtown Wilmington. Um, and it's really operating as a new transfer location for most of our bus routes in downtown. It offers riders smoke-free covered seated waiting areas, real-time bus displays, ticket sales, Wi-Fi, all sorts of rider amenities. And then on June 1st, we went, resumed our full service levels. Um, fares were reinstated as well as front door boarding, and we started to offer promotional discounts on our DART Pass app, which I'll get to a little bit more in a, in a few slides. Next. So June 15th this week, um, as part of the governor's phase two, we increased our bus capacity to 60%, and we started some midday cleaning of our buses at hubs at some of our transit centers. So the buses are getting cleaned in the evening as well as uh, midday. Then on June 29th, we are gonna start our beach bus service. 
So that includes Route 203, which is Lewis to Dewey, Route 208, Rehoboth to Ocean City, Maryland, and then the Route 305 Beach Connection. And that is the route that runs on um, Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays from Wilmington to Rehoboth. We have stops at the Wilmington Transit Center, Christiana Mall, Middletown, Dover, our new South Frederica Park and Ride, and then the Lewis and Rehoboth Park and Ride. Um, in addition, the, the routes that run currently in that area will get increased frequencies and increased hours. So some of the routes like the 201 that serves the boardwalk will run until close to 3 a.m. And then to touch on our ongoing efforts, so our drivers upon reporting to work are getting their temperatures checked. Drivers are provided for their personal use of masks, hand sanitizer and wipes and gloves. And we're looking to install driver barriers on the buses. Um, face coverings are continue to be required for both passengers and operators. And again, we're continuing the nightly and midday bus cleaning and encouraging the use of DART paths. So our app, DART Transit app, it's, if, if you haven't downloaded it, um, it's really a great tool. You can do trip planning. You can view routes and stops. If you turn on your, lo your location service on your, on your phone, um, it'll show you where you are and where the stops are around you. You can select your stop, save it as a favorite if you'd like, and it displays the route, the routes that serve that stop, and also the real time. So you'll know when your bus is coming. There's also a feature that you can view where your bus is along the route. Um, so it's, it's really a great tool. And then within that app, you can access the mobile fare payment. And I'll, I'll cover that on the next slide. So the mobile fare payment is DART Pass. And again, you can access it through the DART Transit app under the More option. And um, you set up your account and you can purchase your fares with your phone. And it's great because it offers contactless fare payment. So you just, once you purchase your fare, you activate it, you show the driver, you, you click on it and it's green so the driver knows it's valid and you don't have to put any cash or, or passes in the fare box. And we started offering uh, promotional discounts on our passes. So, and that's only through the app. So if you were to purchase a daily pass, normally 420, it's $4. Seven day pass, you're, you'll save $2. And a 30 day pass, you'll save $5. Um, so we are also um, working to embed the Rideshare app into um, our Dart Transit app. Hopefully with the next update, we'll have that. And here, just stay connected. You can sign up for, um, to receive our news releases, our rider alerts. If you go to our website at dartfirststate.com, um, you can step-by-step -step instructions to sign up for that. Uh, follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, and YouTube. Next. And if you've been in Delaware over the past 22 years, you'll likely know about our DART Stuff the Bus Thanksgiving food drive. Last year, we collected over 13 tons for the Food Bank of Delaware. So we decided for, to help with COVID-19 relief, we would um, set up some collection sites and we're starting next week. So every day next week from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., we'll be out in different areas. Um, to collect food for the food bank. So if you're around and you're close to one of those lo locations, I encourage you to come on out and, and help donate. It's, it's really a great way to give back to the community. And now I can open it up for questions. And Arlene, I don't know if anyone has um, placed any questions in the chat box, if you could let us know. So I don't see any questions in the chat um, as of yet, but if anybody has a question, I guess maybe we'll leave um, like a minute to see, you know, if anybody types anything in. Okay, that sounds great. Um, I, I did have one question um, that comes to mind is because it's a requirement that everyone wears a um, mask would, um, 
what's the policy if someone shows up without a mask? So the policy is that, um, and this is really declared through the governor too, and it's also for the well-being of our operators and passengers, is that passengers have to have a mask on to board the bus. And when I say mask, it has to be a face covering. It can be a bandana. It could be something over the nose and the mouth. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been great because we haven't, I, I asked the question yesterday, and there really hasn't been any situations on our buses where people are trying to board without masks. So it's, it's really a, a great way to help, you know, protect each other. All right, Arlene, if there aren't any, I think we can go to the next. And then, like you said, you know, if people have questions, um, go ahead and put them in the chat box and we will have time at the end to to address those. And oh, Kathleen, I, think I forgot to mention a yes. very important um, thing. When I was talking about DART Pass, which is our mobile fare, fare payment, I, I was remiss in mentioning that all participants in today's webinar will automatically be entered into a drawing to to receive a free 30-day pass, um, they'll have to download the app and then it'll be credited to their account for 30, you know, a 30-day pass. So it's good from the first initial use for 30 days. Thank you. Oh, are they? So, yep, I just wanted to add, so I see two questions here in the chat. Um, one is uh, from Cheryl. She says, who do I inquire with to get a bus added to DART's availability that does not currently exist? Um, Cheryl, I would suggest you can you can either go to our website and there's a contact us feature and put it in there and work through customer service and then they will pass it on to the appropriate department. All right. And then I see two other questions. So the first one is, um, I guess, towards uh, maybe towards Kathleen. When and where will, will the recording be available? Sure, we will have the recording available and be posted on our website by Monday. And then I see another question. It says, um, will the dark card passes, the one with the color names, be available on the app? No, they are not available on the app. In fact, we're looking at some changes to our fair media and we're going to be going out to the public to get some input and feedback on some of the options that we'll be offering. Um, we do have the 30-day the pass is, is comparable to the platinum card. It's $65. And if you get it on the app right now, it's $60. All right, thanks, Julie. Um, those are all the questions I see as of now on the chat. If anybody has anything, again, just feel free to um, type the message into the chat. Thanks, Arlene, and thanks, uh, Julie. And um, so we're going to continue on just some, some information about the ride share program itself. And we have ride share, we have dedicated um, the month of June as transit month. Since DART has reinstated their full service buses here um, on June 1st, we said, let's go ahead and make the whole month transit month just to make sure that people are. Um, aware of, of the buses going back online. And then like Julie said, the beach buses will be coming online soon. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows, um, as a reminder, the Rideshare Delaware program rewards all commuters in Delaware. So, you know, one form is actually riding transit, but then you can, um, anytime you get a chance to get, you know, a Delawarean out of a single occupant car. So if it's, um, it's a form of clean commuting. So when someone is carpooling or riding transit, van pooling, walking, biking, or teleworking, they can become a rideshare um, Delaware program member and enjoy all the benefits of the program. So if you're currently not a member, you can download the free app or go to our website, rideshareDelaware.org and complete your profile and become a member. And then you can earn rewards anytime you record your days that you're clean commuting. You can earn 200 points per per each day, and then um, you can redeem those rewards for points, discounts, and entries into our monthly drawing. And there's a link down on um, this page to our how-to videos that can walk you through how to record your trip. And um, all of our contact information is on the final slide of this presentation. 
One other thing we're doing during the month of June is that uh, we want to make sure that everybody stays informed about their commute options and have transit uh, information at your fingertips. So we're holding a transit contest. And so it's going to be from June 1st through the 30th. And all you have to do to enter is three easy steps. So you download the Rideshare DE app, you download the Dart Transit app, and we actually have a social media post about this. Um, so you can actually comment on that post done, or you could send us a message or send us an email to our general at rideshare.delaware.org. And um, I just wanted to say, you know, um, our team really enjoys uh, your feedback, you know, after these uh, sessions. So please continue to email us and send us, you know, some great ideas for future uh, series topics, because it's always great to hear from uh, the, the folks that uh, want the information and, and what is important to you. And I just wanted to say thanks to um, everyone for joining us today. And then again, thanks to our co-host, Julie Farrell. And uh, you'll all receive an email after um, the meeting today with your presentation and then also the June transit contest sheet and then the announcement of today's winner. We're going to select the winner after the, um, the uh, meeting today. So the 30 day pass winner will be announced in the letter also. And then you can um, find all the recordings on our for our webinar series on our Rideshare Delaware website. And then the other, just be on the lookout in um, July for an invitation for our Delaware Commute Solutions Series number eight. Um, Arlene, I want to open it up to see if there are any other questions before we close out our session for today. Yes, we had one other question come in and uh, this person asked, how many people will DART be transporting in a bus per trip? Um, that's a great question, and it really depends on the bus size. So in our fleet of buses, we have several different um, size buses and seating capacity. So a, a general rule is about 60% right now that we're, we're um, allowing 60% capacity. All right. Thanks, Julie. And I think those are all the questions um, that I see in the chat. Okay, great. Thanks, Arlene, and, and thanks, uh, James. Um, and uh, the rest of our uh, ride chair team there for, for all your assistance today. And like I said, if we have our information here on the page, uh, Julie had put all the information for darts in the presentation. Again, you'll receive a copy. And if you have any questions, just reach out to us. You guys have a great uh, weekend. Stay safe and healthy. Bye bye. <laughs>